Welcome to this video about Unreal Engine 5 and world partitioning. So today we'll be looking a little bit at world partitioning at its early stages and see approximately how it works and how you can get it up and running and uh, such. So let's jump into it. So here we are inside of Unreal Engine 5 in a third person template. Now, uh, the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to your uh, project settings and you go to engine and under engine you have something called world partition and then you click the checkbox that says enable partitioning once you have that done you have something under window called world partition which shows you your world partition normally however it doesn't do it here and if we go to world settings you can see we have a world partition setup which has enable world partition as false and the reason for this i believe is just probably early bugs with uh, the build because uh, if we were to now create a new level let's take this one and we go here and we see that we have enable world partition uh, set to true and it has a world partition selected here and uh, a streaming policy so uh, it seems like there's some kind of update issue where it doesn't uh, refresh what the situation is currently. I'm not sure if that's something that's missing currently or if it's just a bug or if I'm missing something, but I couldn't figure out another way to do it other than reloading the maps. Uh, to demonstrate this, if we go to the tool window here and I can go world partition, <coughs> you, you, this is what you see. Um, now, this doesn't show us a whole lot, so let's start by adding some actual assets in here. So, uh, let's get, uh, where do we have Quixel Bridge? And we'll get from some 3D assets of some, uh, let's take the Utah pack. So we go to nature, we'll drag in some big assets here just so we have something in here. Like so. We can also take our uh, little platform here and scale that up absurdly so we have some ground for these meshes to be on. <coughs> That's the wrong one. Let's move this one. Uh, this one was really small. Let's skip that one. Anyway, so what we'll do is we'll scale this a little, little bit up. We'll make some copies of it. An interesting note also is that w when um, the Unreal Engine tech demo was using world partitions, it didn't actually have a landscape. It was built completely out of meshes because it was using the Nanite technology. So that means that uh, landscapes might actually be a thing of the past possibly, or it might be playing a smaller role, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, or it could just be that landscapes will still be important because they will reduce the the size of your uh, uh, maps because they won't be actually taking up mesh space you know let's call this level design one this map like so and let's go back to our other map now we're in here again and let's load back into our level design map now you see that this map looks completely empty and the reason for this is now the per world partition has actually kicked in uh, when we loaded in this map and had all of the actors saved and such so it, it's actually in unloaded cells now so if we go to window and go to world partition you can now see that we have had four cells automatically generated by the world partition and it's basing that upon the stuff that you have in the world so if you were to uh, build further it would add more cells and uh, generate uh, dynamically each time uh, also i believe that we have a setting for uh, the size that your cells are going to be so this one can be tweaked by you if you want as well but anyway so now we have these four cells here so what we can do is we can just drag to select all of these and we can right click on it and we can say load selected cells and now it will load in all the stuff that is available in each of these cells and we can also see some kind of uh, 
minimap esque like uh, uh, outlines of the different objects that are actually in the scene so we can see for example that uh, this particular cell here is this cell that has these two objects so if we were to mark this one and say unload then those would disappear but the rest would remain and such as such um, yeah so basically that's how you work with it uh, to get it started uh, and then you can play around with it uh, it's a bit finicky so maybe one should if one is interested of world partitioning of course uh, you're free to play around with it but it seems a little bit finicky in the way that it only seems to be updating whenever you load into the map uh, anew so that means that you have to place all of the actors that you want to have and then you want to see the results and have to load and select cells and stuff like that you have to actually leave the map and come back into the map to have it uh, react to the changes that you've made and that workflow might be a little bit I don't know uh, off-putting for some but uh, this is how it works and in addition to this you can have landscapes as well uh, but like I said you don't have to if you don't want to you could actually create the world just out of meshes like they did in the, the tech demo if you wanted to hopefully you found this video helpful if you liked the video leave a like if you did not like it leave a dislike leave any suggestions or comments you might have down below subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future that is all for now, keep on learning.